Let's see this question. We have to convert the given binary number to its equivalent octal value. If the sample input is 10101, then the output should be 25. Here the idea is that first we'll convert binary number to decimal and then decimal to octal. We have seen both of these tasks in the previous videos. So let's combine them here. We'll make a method static int binary to octal and in its parameter we'll pass string binary. This method will return integer number that is octal equivalent of the binary string and in its parameter we'll pass binary number in string. Okay. We are using here string so that we can iterate on it easily. We can also do it by using other data types like int or long. So this method will call two other methods. The first method will convert binary number to decimal and the second method will convert decimal to octal. We are making separate methods because that is the way we should write our programs. Single method for single task. And this is the purpose of making methods. We should not stuff all our code in one method. Okay, single job is done by single method. So we'll call the first method. Let's name this method binary to decimal. And this will take binary number as the parameter. So we'll pass binary here. And this will return the decimal number. So we'll hold it in a variable int decimal. Now we'll call second method. Let's call this method decimal to octal. And this method will convert decimal to octal. So we'll pass decimal in its parameter and it will return octal number. So let's hold it in a variable int octal. And then we'll return octal. Now let's make the methods binary to decimal and decimal to octal. So static int binary to decimal and we'll pass here string binary. I'll initialize two variables power and decimal. So int power equal to zero and int decimal equal to zero. Now we'll iterate on the binary string for int i equal to binary dot length minus 1 i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus now we have binary string so we'll fetch each character of binary string so char c equal to binary dot char at i so we'll get each digit in char c so how we convert any binary number to decimal number? We'll start from the end and we'll multiply each digit with a power of 2 starting from 0. So if we have 10101 one, then we'll start from rightmost 1 and we'll multiply it with 2 to the power 0. So 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 okay so this is what we are going to do here we have char c we have digit in character form so we have to first convert it into int so i'll typecast it so int c and now Suppose if we have 1 in place of C, so it will convert it into its ASCII value. So ASCII value of 1 is 49. So if we do int C, we'll get 49. So we have to subtract it from ASCII value of char 0. So minus int char 0. And we'll multiply it with the power of 2. So into we have a method in math class 
which can calculate the power of any number so we'll use it here so math dot pow and in its parameter we have to pass the base and the exponent so here our base is 2 and our exponent is power and this method will return the power in double so we'll convert it into int and we'll do power plus plus because after each iteration we have to increase the power starting from zero okay and we'll add this in decimal variable and hold it in decimal variable so decimal plus equal to this value okay and we'll return decimal so this is our method binary to decimal let's make decimal to octal static int decimal to octal and this method will take decimal in its argument so int decimal and it will return the number in octal form so the return type is int now we'll make octal string string octal equal to empty string and another variable remainder int remainder equal to 0 this we have seen in the last video also so this is exactly same and while decimal is greater than 0 remainder equal to decimal mod 8 octal equal to remainder plus octal and decimal equal to decimal divided by 8 and we'll return octal so this octal is in string form so we'll convert it into integer so integer dot percent octal okay now let's write the driver code scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in and I'll create a binary string so string binary equal to sc dot next line and we'll call binary to octal method so binary to octal and I'll pass binary in its parameter okay so this will return us the octal value so we'll print it system dot out dot print ln binary to octal binary and we'll import scanner class so import java dot util dot scanner now let's see is this giving correct output or not we'll compile the code so java c binary to octal dot java okay file is compiled successfully now let's run java binary to octal okay so the console is waiting for us to enter any value so let's pass here 10101 the output we'll get will be the octal equivalent of this binary number okay so let's see okay we are getting 25 so the octal equivalent of 10101 is 25 okay you can check for more test cases so our code is working perfectly fine if you have any suggestions feel free to tell them in the comment section so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you